Get ready to lock and load, my friends, for a second season of Sword Art Online. This time they're ditching the fantasy-based melee weapons and upgrading to lightsabers and high-powered sniper rifles that will blow your face off. If you can't tell, I'm pretty excited for the second season of Sword Art Online. And what's really strange is I'm kind of a new fan of the show. I've only really finished the first season in the last couple of months. But I really loved it. It completely caught me by surprise. I loved the whole concept of characters being stuck in a video game where they could actually die. And of course, I loved the enduring characters, the incredible animation, the kick-ass action scenes. And I'm not really a big fan of romance, but I loved the development between Kirito and Asuna. It actually felt like a genuine relationship. And I really enjoyed that part of the series. And it made me get really involved with it. But by the end of it... I really didn't feel like there needed to be a second season. Luckily for me, the first episode of Sword Art Online 2 delivers on pretty much every front because it's bookended with some really intriguing scenes, which are completely different from some of the things that we saw in the first season, and that's got me really excited. Not to mention it opens up with this badass Grim Reaper guy killing people inside of the game, and I'm not really sure how it happens, but the way the actual episode opens up is fantastic. We are immediately introduced to this brand new game world, which is known as Gun Gale Online, or GGO. The actual look of GGO is awesome. It's completely different from the stuff that we saw in the first season of the show, which everything there looks kind of happy and cheery and nice. Everything here looks like a post-apocalyptic setting and has a little bit of cyberpunk thrown in there. And all of the characters in the game have their own unique designs and they all have their own specific weapons. And you get to see there's this show that everybody is watching in the middle of this town. And there's this one clothed guy who is wearing this skull mask and he has this one pistol, and he walks up to this TV and he shoots the screen, and the guy who was on TV actually immediately dies of cardiac arrest. And that's where basically the mystery comes from. How is this guy able to kill people within this game, and how are they going to be able to stop him? Enter the hero of the first season, Kirito. The middle of the episode is where it finally starts to feel a little bit more like classic sword art online, but that's only because you get to see a lot of the other classic characters, like Asuna and Kirito, and they also happen to be wearing their classic colors from when they were playing SAO, but you get to see a nice scene where they're walking through the park, and you get to see that they're still keeping their relationship as strong as ever. But Kirito has big plans for the future. He actually plans on creating a brand new type of game system, which can sort of like blur the line between reality and real life. This way, both him and Asuna can actually see their virtual daughter, Yui, and that would be nice. He clearly has some really big plans for the future, but at the same time, he's being dragged into this mission where he's actually going to have to go into the Gun Gale online game and hunt down this guy who is known as Death Gun. And there's this one brand new character who, maybe he's not brand new, maybe I just missed him from the first season, but he's the guy who was actually there when Kirito first waked up from SAO, and uh, he's the guy who's sort of responsible for looking over all of the people who were involved in that incident. And he's the one who tells him about what's going on with this Death Gun guy. And apparently he's killed two people in the game so far and they have no idea how they're doing it. And the scene here is funny because not only is it tense, but everybody who's in the restaurant can hear the conversation. And when he's going over the uh, like details of the person's death, there's this lady who's like, Ahem! We're eating here, damn it! So naturally, Kirito is going to go into the game, and I imagine he was probably just wanting to see Asuna one last time before he went off on this mission. And the scene there is very nice when they're looking out over at the sunset, because it reminds Asuna of the time when they actually beat SAO for the first time, and they were looking out over Aincrad. But what's really interesting is at the very end of the episode, they give us a little more tease. We go back to Gun Gale Online, and we get to see there's this one brand new character by the name of Shinon who is using this badass sniper rifle and she just looks like a really badass just sort of like sniper girl and I know that's a weird thing to say but that's like a thing in anime there are a ton of sniper girls but that's exactly what she is but she's able to take out this group and it's just a really slick awesome scene and it's basically just a preview to what maybe some of the action is going to be like in the show and of course there's a uh, ending at the end which highlights what uh, some of the action is going to be like and it also shows us our first look and what Kirito is actually going to look like when he goes into Gun Gale Online. And maybe someone can correct me on this. Maybe it's a separate character altogether. But 
I think Kirito is actually going to have a female avatar when he goes into the game, and I just think that's going to be a very funny aspect. I mean, there's nothing keeping him from doing that, so maybe it'll just be a nice little spin and twist on this, and it'll be completely different. It doesn't matter, though. Even as a woman, Kirito is still going to get all the ladies. So what's the rundown on the very first episode of Sword Art Online 2? I liked it. Was it perfect? No, but it is the first episode of the series, and it's meant to be there to set everything up. If you guys remember in the very first episode of Sword Art Online, nothing really too flashy happened. It just sort of like set up what the whole series is going to be about. And that's what they did this week. But at least the entire episode was bookended by some really interesting scenes and giving us some previews of what GGO is actually going to be like. The actual villain, the Death Gun guy, he looks awesome. I cannot wait to see what his motive is. And it's good to have a really intimidating villain because I did like the first villain of the original season, Kayaba, but he sort of turned into like this like Obi-Wan mentor for Kirito. And then in the second part, you had that one asshole who was just trying to screw over Asuna, and he just really wasn't that inter interesting of a villain. Like, he was just such a dickhead. Like, he didn't seem all that intimidating. He was just manipulating the system. But this new villain, this character within the game, he seems like he's going to be really intimidating and fun and hopefully have an interesting motive. And, uh, of course, his design is just really awesome looking. Also, the scene at the end when you got to see that one sniper girl, Shino, and she looks like she's going to be very important if the ending is any indication. They didn't have an intro this week. I'm really interested to see what that's going to look like. They'll probably have one uh, next week. So hopefully it will be flashy and it won't be too spoilerish because I know that the series is actually based on light novels, and I don't even really know what a light novel is. Uh, so maybe you guys could tell me with your comments below. But uh, superficial stuff, the animation and everything, everything looked nice. It looks like basically just an exact continuation of Sword Art Online, although we haven't really gotten into the actual game world quite yet, and that's where things are going to get a little flashier. A lot of time in this episode was spent seeing Kirito and Asuna in the real world, but still, everything looked nice, everything was nice and consistent. Uh, all the scenes at the beginning looked awesome, all the scenes at the end looked awesome. My excitement is just through the roof for this show. I can't wait to see all of the new characters, and I can't wait to see how Kirito is actually going to handle using a gun, because this game, Gun Gale Online, is completely different from the stuff we saw before, because apparently when they play this game, they can actually win money in the game and exchange it in real life for real freaking cash. So that shows, like, how competitive everybody's gonna be in this game, and I'm not even really sure how it plays, like, if it's gonna have, like, an HP system, or if it's literally gonna be, like, a third-person, first-person kind of thing, and it's like one shot to the head, you're out. Like, I don't know how much damage they can actually take. If it, You know, there, there's so many questions, and I'm so interested to see how it works. But that's what's great. I, I really didn't think they could uh, do it again. I didn't think they were just going to pull out, like, another just fantasy-based one. They came up with something really interesting and different from the rest. And I'm really excited. If only to see Kirito as a girl and to see all of the badass action of the second season of Sword Art Online. I'm not going to give the first episode a score. I'm going to watch a couple more episodes and get into it. But rest assured, I'm already really, really excited about the first episode. And I'm most definitely going to watch the rest of the series and review it for you guys. So stay tuned. It is time for Sword Art Online Season 2. If you guys saw the first episode of Sword Art Online Season 2, please tell me what you thought about it with your comments below. Did you get all nostalgic seeing Kirito and Asuna again? What did you think of the brand new Gun Gale Online? And how do you think this Death Gun guy is actually killing people? Please tell me with your theories and your comments below. Remember guys, before you leave, hit that like button so you can give this video a thumbs up. It's really easy to do and it helps out our videos tremendously. But the best way to help us out is to watch our videos. Hell, at the end of the video, make sure and check out that link for my review of the very first Sailor Moon Crystal episode. Yeah, I actually reviewed that one too. And it's hilarious and it's completely different from the show in every way. But it's a lot of fun. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And you can also check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. I'll put those in some links in the description box below. So guys, that concludes my review. Super Kami Guru 9000, out.